Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we continue with Complete Ark and Scorched Earth. Today we're going to be trying to tame ourselves an Equus and testing this theory as to whether a pack of walls and the Equus is a good way to gather cementing paste in the desert of Scorched Earth. And I need plenty of cementing paste because I need to get this chemistry bench built and I don't really fancy using the shotgun until I have done so. I don't really want to be making all of that gunpowder in the mortar and pestle and it's just kind of a little bit of a bottleneck that we need to sort out. So I think I'll probably get the chemistry bench down first, followed by the industrial forge. So I've grabbed some carrots and our veggies are doing pretty well. I think I'll try and grab one more dung beetle and that should be sort of plenty. We're crafting plenty of fertilizer and our veggies are going on the go. Not too bad at all. You do get a little bit of oil back from the uh, dung beetle as well, so it's pretty handy. But we're going to be using carrots, and of course carrots are a horse's favourite food, so it makes sense that that's one of their preferred kibbles, and I don't really think it makes a difference whether you use the basic kibble or the carrot. It may in fact actually just tame them slightly quicker. These are our wolf parents. I've just stuck them away in the preserving bin out of the way for now. So I've got our pack of wolves outside. I didn't get any mutations on them, but they are pretty much all the way imprinted or up to around 80 odd percent. And uh, they should do pretty well. But before we take them out, I want to go and find a horse. And that way, if we take the saddle out, we can craft this stuff as we go. So let's give that a try. And we're going to head out and see if we can find one. Okay, I just had this giant shadow fly over the top of me then. And it looks like one of the Wivens have escaped the scar. It's kind of made its way down to the blue obelisk. And I really want to stay out of its way because Devil doesn't really stand much of a chance against that. And, of course, with their poison breath, they'll just knock me straight out and uh, kill Devil. What's that? Ooh, hey, a 150 Tech Rex. And the Wyvern's not even interested in it. Well, I can't really leave that. It's not a max level Rex. A max level Tech Rex would be a 190. And the problem, of course, is finding another one. Oh, let's just get out of the way of this. Do not want to upset that. Well, not only the problem of finding another Rex, another Tech Rex to breed it with, plus the chances of it having its stats, but I just can't leave it there because they just look so cool and it is a decent level. So, right, let's go back and grab it. I've got enough Tranks. Let's just, that Wyvern's just on the other side of that hill. Just sort of brush in front of his face. You come on over here, bud. I mean, it looks really cool colours. It's just trying to find another high level tech Rex and we don't know what stats it's going to have and we wouldn't have a pool of stats, so... But we can't leave it, can we? It's up on 50. Okay, right, let's just bring it over here. Oh no. A couple of terror birds have got involved. It was Torpor running. I literally thought I was about to drop it then. I should have built a taming pen. Oh no. That's it. Another one bites the dust. It's my own fault, but. I should have bought a pen for it. Saying that, trying to find another Tech Rex on Scorched. And one with the levels that we wanted. It's going to be really rare. It's just, I can't help grabbing a high level Tech Rex. Even if we wouldn't have used it. Right. Well, we came out here to find a horse. I've already killed a load. And... They're all spawning in at rubbish levels, so I want to try and find a half-decent one. Let's go where this wyvern isn't.
Okay, what we got down here? It's a level 15 Rex. That's no good. And the Wyvern's still hanging around the blue obelisk, so I need to stay out of the way. Just not had much luck on the Equus front. Everything has been a little bit of a poor level. There's another low level here. Keep killing them off and hoping that something half decent spawns back in. Not after a max level one, but it needs to be good enough to be able to stack a little bit of weight. And what are you? There's plenty of them spawning. Just can't find any good levels. Well, a 95. I was going to settle for a hundred or less, but as they've been so poor, we can go for this and perhaps try and tame another one. But let's just take this. Might regret not taking it if I don't. Um, probably best not to tame them around here. And Devil's running low on stamina. So let's just go over here. Try and find somewhere safe where I can just drop this Equus. And get a little bit of stamina back on Devil. But I've killed, I would say, at least a dozen or so. There's plenty of them spawning, they're just not spawning very high level. No, you can't eat it, that's not your dinner. Take care of this wolf. Oh, everything's coming in on us now. Deodons. If I come across a decent level Deodon, it may be worth doing something with that. I didn't really experiment too much on the island map with it. But they are handy at replacing a little bit of energy in them boss fights, so... If we find a decent one, maybe stack some food, it could help. Being that there's so many of them on Scorched Earth. Okay, well, let's just head out this way, find a little bit of open space, and try and tame this Equus. Don't think I'll bother with that green drop. Okay, I've just put Devil away. Now, we just need to get up behind the Equus. I've got the carrots on the end bar here. I'm wearing full ghillie, so that does help with our stealth effect. If I sense it's going to turn, I just need to crouch like this. Stop. So, slowly approach it. We should be able to jump on it. No, how come I didn't jump? Okay, and again, oh, it's booted me off. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. And it's running into... Don't run into the raptor. Yeah, the Microraptor's chasing it now. Oh, great. I'll have to chase it down. Okay. Right, let's try this again. Okay, we fed it once, but... And it's going to try and buck me off. I always thought that when you fed it from behind it, you jumped on it and fed it. When it starts doing the animation to kick us off, we've got to feed it again, but... Because I lost track of this one... The taming effectiveness is down at 66%, so one more feed and it'll be ours, but the taming effectiveness is quite poor. Okay, there we go. Well, I think we need to try and hunt for another one, because I got thrown off the horse a couple of times. That's affected its points. Close to 500 in weight, though. It's only got a couple of attacks, it can do the back kick, knock things out. Looks like the Pegamastics are coming in. So, because I got thrown off the back of the horse, taming efficiency went down there, and we lost out on quite a few levels. So, it might be an idea to have a look for another one. Don't know, perhaps if I could get a male, we might do some breeding. At least we could have perhaps some good stats on a male and get a imprint 
on the horse and then yeah that would make it a lot better but yeah a little bit disappointed in the tame there I won't put any levels on it just in case we find another one came out of one two six okay well we continue okay it's one fifteen I think it was a male need to get it before it gets eaten yeah a male and just double check we got a female yep okay well I was about to give up we've got a thunderstorm coming in but I think we'll give this another go see if we can get a better attaining effectiveness on this one and it's a better level as well it's got already got another 20 levels so let's just go out into the desert give ourselves a little bit of space oh okay it's the wyvern it's kind of wandered away from the blue obelisk seems to be following me around today and I think it's coming over this way right let's just uh, flank it and come around the outside we'll take the long route let's <laughs> stay out of that thing's way yeah, you've been everywhere I've needed to be <laughs> okay let's see if we can do a better job this time kind of getting low on stamina but there's a little bit of desert just here give it a try around here okay and just don't want to drop it anywhere where them scorpions are and it looks like we've got a little bit of space just here so just get away from it unfortunately it's not aggroed Although that titan boa let's just get rid of that before it does get involved I think this time I'm just going to leave Devil following me. Okay. And we need to double tap this time. The first one's to feed it, the second one's to get on top. And the third time, there we go, ride it. And again, feed it. Okay. We've just got to take our time as soon as we see it do that little bucking animation we need to be ready but, oh there we go and there we go 100% taming effectiveness much better got our technique down now tamed out at 172 I'm not actually going to check the stats we'll check them when we get back we've got a storm coming in let's get ourselves back to base Okay, I've just set these two off for breeding. They're very similar in colours. They've both got different shoes on, different colour feet, but other than that, they're pretty much matching in colour. The female, which was the poorest of the two, just over 1,200 health, 483 on the weight. And the weight was the one stat that I was looking out for on these guys. So we'll try and play for an offspring that has the father's stats coming in with just over 500 weight and 1600 health so hopefully a full imprint if we can get one on a baby will give us a half decent equus to take out our super pack of wolves now i've just been adding levels in health letting them heal up they're all over 6000 health now or getting getting there and they'll get a few more levels once we get out in the desert but they should do us well for gathering polymer and chitin okay well let's let these breed up and uh, we'll see what we get we'll try and try and go for a full imprint if we can okay so I'm gonna use a little bit of an exploit here just to show you how you can get around imprinting and as you can see our Equus wants superior kibble and I want to keep this one because it got a kind of cool blue mutation. You probably can't see it in the dark. But if we cryo-freeze our Equus 
and then chuck it back out again, it will reset what it's asking for. So now it wants an Azzleberry, which we can definitely do that. And obviously we can only do this once because you'll see that we've got our cooldown timer of five minutes for cryo sickness. So we wouldn't be able to throw it out again if it landed on something we couldn't do. But in this case, we uh, rolled again and we got lucky. So we'll try and get a full imprint on the Equus. Okay, so we just come back out to the desert. We've got our wolf pack and our fully imprinted Equus, which we've called David B. And we're going with the patron naming rights for the names of the dinos. So David, thank you very much for the support on Patreon. Really appreciate it. And I've loaded you up with a load of stone. As you can see, we take a 50% reduction on the stone. But it's gonna be a little bit difficult to gather more stone out in the desert. Let's go and test it out. Okay, let's just check out this deep sea loot crate. Wow. Yeah, boots and an ascendant shield. That's a pretty good find. And we've got decent armor on the boots as well. It's good insulation on riot gear as well, so it might actually be used in the boss fight. Let's go and grab some of this chitting off these guys. And I think a couple of them have got some levels. Yeah. Just pump some more damage. I don't know about you, but I always think of Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars riding that thing. Whenever I hear the wolves level up. It should be the other way around, really, shouldn't it? I should I should hear wolves in the Obi-Wan Kenobi thing, but I don't. I hear it the other way around. And um, and if you ask me, actually, I think that's probably where they got the inspiration for the Rock Drake from. Which is a really, really cool mount. I do like getting around on a, on a Rock Drake. But there's none of them on Scorched Earth. So, but like you can see, there's plenty of Mantas, Scorpions. Yeah, and we're just doing loads and loads of polymer and the cementing paste is going pretty well All right let's continue gathering so far I haven't come across any death worms so and the walls are just managing just fine so let's continue gathering what we can Okay, we're back, and I consider that to be a successful mission. We managed to get plenty of cement in paste, and right now, as we speak, David B is busy crafting even more. Just loaded him up with stone here, and we'll leave him going. We should have plenty enough cement in paste to be able to make the chemistry bench. And again, when we do, we'll end up saving a third on stuff that we will be crafting in the chemistry bench and we'll be able to craft it a lot quicker so that's going to make things a lot easier don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the art content from myself and perhaps next week we can concentrate on getting ourselves a queen bee we need that that's the one missing link in our kibble chain and once we have honey we can start making the exceptional kibble but until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you